Hello my friends. Today we're looking at the Springfield Armory XDS. This is Springfield's newest subcompact 45 auto. And I've got some trigger time behind this gun now, so I want to share with you my impressions, as well as go through some of the specs and some of the other features this gun offers to give you a potential buyer an idea of what you'll be getting into if you decide to go with this gun. The overall length is 6.3 inches, the height is 4.4 inches, and the barrel length is 3.3 inches. The width overall is 1 inch, and the slide width is 0.9 inches. Let's put her on the scale. Here we have a loaded magazine of hollow points and not a round in the chamber. 25 and an eighth. And when I have full metal jacket rounds, it's 25 and a half ounces. One of the big questions I get about this gun is, how is the recoil, being such a small package? I felt it was manageable. Recoil really doesn't bother me, and I'm yet to be bothered by a 45 auto, but let's take a couple close-up looks and you can see for yourself. Magazine holds five, gun is unloaded, does have the grip safety, ambidextrous magazine release, nice strong deployment, very nice checkering on the grips, great feel. Loaded chamber indicator here, this bar is raised so you can see it through the sights if there is a round in the chamber. Fiber optic front sight, makes it real nice, accessory rail, and that notch in the trigger, they call it a safety. Overall, trigger, about five and a half pounds, and the reset is right there. Conceal carry, works real well in my multi-holster. Draw and shoot, let's take a look. A couple challenging points about this gun I want to make. First, for me, it took me a while to get on target. Now, I'm not even talking about center of mass. I'm talking about the small groupings. I had a little trouble with that. I don't know if it's the size of the gun, the weight of the gun, whatever the case, or that I'm just not a very good shooter, but I, I was not able to get into those small groupings that I'm used to with some of the other guns. So it does take a little bit more practice. Another thing that was of concern is, upon shooting the gun, the casings would fly off to the right about 15 feet. I mean, they were all over the place. And every 10 to 15 shots, a casing would come right back into my face. I'm not sure why that happened, but it got to be a little annoying. And there was no sign or reason why that would happen, but that case would come flying back right into my face. And, uh, you know, you just have to wear your glasses and be careful. Overall, I have to say I really do enjoy this gun. The fit, finish, feel, and craftsmanship of it is just second to none. I look forward to putting a lot more rounds through it and having this gun for a long time. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.